Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a multiplication table. So if you're in a lucky position to start teaching someone how to multiply, usually a multiplication table is a good way to go. So the basics of how, to, how a multiplication table works, you have your column of numbers from 1 to 10 or more, or your, in your row of, uh, in our example here, row of 1 to 10 here. And basically the cross-reference of our column and our row is our product. So like, for example, 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 7 is 35. So that's the basics of your multiplication table. So let's go about showing you how we'll create one. Let me go and insert a worksheet here and go ahead and click this tab. And uh, let me go ahead and increase the size here. So let's start by creating our incrementing numbers. Type 1. Actually, let me go ahead and start in cell A2. Type 1 and then press Control Enter to stay within that cell. And the easy way to increment your numbers is you press down the control key, you hover over the fill handle here, see the little small plus sign next to the big plus sign, you just drag that and you can see a little screen tip here to show you how much we're going to increment, how which number we're incrementing it to. We're going to increment it to 10 here for our example. And we're going to do the same for the row here. 1, press control enter and then control key, press the control key, hover over the fill handle and drag So now let's show you how to start filling in the multiplication table. There's one way we can do it. Uh, I'll go with the long way first, and I'll do go show you a shortcut way right after. So we have to create our multiplication formula, and that basically will start off with the equal sign. And we're going to multiply cell B1 times, and times is the Shift 8 key to bring up that multiplication symbol, times A, cell A2. Now what we need to do is we have to create mixed cell references and so to do that we have to put a dollar sign in front of one of these either letters or numbers so we'll start off with B1 here and we can use press the F4 key and that cycles us through putting the dollar sign in the different positions so what we want to do is what ha what that happens is once we drag and the f drag this formula down it's going to copy it but if we have a dollar sign in front of it, it doesn't change the cell reference. So let me kind of show you what that means exactly. So if we had equals B1 multiplied by cell A2 and just press enter, and if we drag this down, you'll see that it's going to increment. When we go to this cell, it turns into B2. Okay, we have B1A2, now we have B2A3. So that's what I mean. So if we had it where we had a dollar sign in front of one of these numbers, I'll press F4. That's becomes, and then we have a two here. And dollar signs in front of both of those means that when we drag it or copy it over, those values are going to stay the same. Press Control Enter. Let's say if I drag this down, it's going to stay the same. So if I go to this cell, see how it stays the same. So we don't want that. We want to only the dollar signs in front of some of the values. I mean, some of the positions. So in our instance, what we want to do is when we start to drag this formula down, we want it to stay in row 1. So we want the dollar sign in front of the 1. Now, also when we drag this down, we want, this is going to increment. We want it to increment to, to 2, 3, 4, 5. But when we drag it across, we want that column to stay the same. So we want the dollar sign in front of the A. So I'm going to click here in this position and just press the F4 key until the dollar sign shows up in front of the A. Now go ahead and press Control Enter to stay in that cell and I'm going to hover over the fill handle, drag and select and drag it down. So now you notice that we're, when we're down here, we still have B because we didn't go anywhere. We're, still, we're, we're stuck in column B, but we didn't, when we dragged it down, it, it might have gone to 2 and 3 and 4, but it didn't since we had the dollar sign in front of there. Now when I drag it across, let's say I select this host cell and I drag it across, you'll see that now the it went to C1 because there wasn't dollar sign in front of that and it stayed at the row 1, but here it stayed at uh, column A even though we dragged it over to dragged it over here because that dollar sign reference is front is in front of the A. So if we what we wanted if we wanted to drag it all the way across, it's going to fill out our multiplication table appropriately. 
So you see now we have our multiplication table. Now that was kind of a little longer way to do it, but if we can do it in one fell swoop with just selecting that area, well, what we need to do is select the whole area where we want the formulas to be populated in, and we had our initial cell selected here, so it's going to start here. So I'm going to type equals B1, shift A to get the multiplication sign, A2, and go ahead and put the dollar sign F4 to cycle through that, make sure it's on the row dollar sign in the first part of the argument. And the second one, we want to have it in front of the A. I'm going to press F4 a couple more times to get in front of the A. Now the magic here is you just press Control Enter, since we selected our whole table here, and that's our initial cell that we were in. Press Control Enter, and it's going to fill out the whole table. And you just did, you just created a multiplication table in a very few steps. Now the rest of it is just formatting. So what I can do is I can just change the cell style here and make it look a little nicer. Maybe give it some borders over here uh, and then get rid of the other grid lines and under view. So there we have it. We have our little multiplication table there. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.